Hello YouTube! I made a video on the screwdriver with the straighter valve removal tool and I found my 4-in-1 tool. I had it in a different drawer. I had it over on a bench where I was doing my garden tractor tire. So at least I put it in a drawer of a cabinet. Okay, we're going to explain what all this does. Okay. This takes out your valve core, right? This is to clean your threads up here. Okay. This is to clean your threads up on the inside. That's all it does. And this is removed when they're broken. We went ahead and broke another one. We lost the last one. You can almost get that out with the regular tool to tangle up. But sometimes they've broken off even. Uh, this I made a little easier. I broke it so like the spring and everything would fall out. I don't have to press that plunger. So this is how it works. Say it's broke and you just can't get it out like that. This is like an easy out, left-handed thread. See it? We'll take close-up pictures. I just jam it in there and push it in there on this one. The other one's not built, not saying anything. It's not made the way this one was made. This one will grab. See that? You've got it out. Don't get too close because that makes it kind of worse. And then, of course, you go back. To the right to get it out. So, like I said, even though there's a few pieces of tang left in there, usually when they'd snap on, they'd snap off like clean off, and you're not getting out of there. I have taken uh, little drill bits when I was a kid and everything, but I always had access to one of these. You know, I have taken probably a little drill bit or something once. Okay, here's your thing that cleans the internal threads. Believe me, I've done it on many old inner tube and stuff on a bicycle when I was a kid. I mean, these are more popular. You could buy these at part stores. And, so there you go. See, you clean out your threads. It gets kind of sticky in there. Make sure ain't nothing in there. And let's clean. So the outside's kind of corroded. You got an old bicycle tube or an old antique wheel with the valve core still good. Uh... There you go. See how it's tapered? Kind of like a die where it's split. That way it kind of cleans the grooves out. But there you go. That's how you clean that out. Now we can put a new core in it. We can drop it in there. Take our little slotted thing. Because there's people that's never really done this. I mean, some of us who sub to me, they old as me they've probably done this many a times and wish they still had one of these four-way tools there you go never crank these in real tight just see them in good okay you look kind of firm this one was made in usa so i feel blessed to have one no brand name just usa so thanks for watching we'll take a couple of close-up pictures really close up so you can see it real good so we're out of here. We had enough of this subject.